evil cops get away with their crimes, but on rare occasions they get their ass caught. This cop commits a despicable act, but the way karma catches up to him will leave you stunned. Absolutely no markings on this squad car. We've got ourselves a Pine County Sheriff's Deputy here. 405 WMZ. You see that in your rear view, definitely take caution and slow down. No, thank you, sir. All right. Can I get your name and badge number since you've made contact? Sure, my name is Deputy Hawkinson, badge number 554. This YouTuber walked up to an unmarked police car in the Pine County office and started making videos of them, and this grew the suspicion of the deputy on the scene. Have a great day. You can ask all you want, sir. All right, we got another dirty vehicle. Love it. All right. Let's take a look at something here. <clears throat> As we all know, you have to establish privacy. Let's check out the zoom features on this camera. Ignoring the questions asked by the deputy, the civilian went back to recording the police cars and their contents. I absolutely, I can, sir. Hey, well, do not away. touch me. You cannot. You be, cannot touch me. You cannot be, sir. It is available and viewable from no, public. You cannot sir, be recording. It on is my, viewable the, from like the public. You cannot no, no. interfere with me. Yes. Actually, you cannot you interfere cannot with me. Be recording inside the vehicles. It, with okay. The, let's take it down. The computer. Step. Let's take it down. Everything up. Okay, at this point, I am going to ask for your identification. Tired of the man's behavior, the officer approached him and requested identification because of how erratic the man was. My ID? Why? But am I being detained? Fine. Do you want to start me a call? Hold, hold on. Office? Am I, I being got detained? I gentleman here trying to record inside squad. <sighs> Day two. Yes. And why I am I being right detained? Now, because, like I just told you, you're recording. Is that a crime? The... Is Dad that a crime? Privacy data privacy laws? No, sir. You are required to create your own privacy. I am not required yeah. to do your privacy okay. for you. How you doing, sir? What's your name and badge number? Uh, investigator Nygaard. Nice to meet you, sir. I really would like to take okay. the tension down. Let's so, de-escalate. Right, so, can I see your ID? No, you cannot. Okay. Not unless you have reasonable, articulable suspicion okay. that I have committed, am committing, or am about to commit okay. a crime, which is a Just statute so. or law. Not you your feelings, your not your policies, Nothing about that. This so is an unlawful detention. As a right this now, is an unlawful oh, detention. The man asked the cop why he was being asked for his ID, even suggesting he was being detained, but the officer could barely do anything lawfully. Sure, I'm sorry. Okay. So basically he's walking around, he's recording inside <clears throat> all the squads, collecting plate numbers, everything else like that. Came up to my squad and then started zooming in on the computer and stuff, which is our computers is private information. But You're you bad. need to create the privacy. Okay. Not me. I'm a I private don't. citizen. The first deputy told the inspector that the YouTuber had been recording private properties. However, the YouTuber quickly argued back, leaving the deputy speechless. I don't care, but as of right now, if you have <laughs> identification on you. I would be glad to provide it for you. In fact, it is in my Jeep, I'm sorry. But, okay. but in order for me to provide to you my identification, Okay. You need to be able to articulate reasonable, articulatable suspicion that I have committed, am committing, or am about to commit an actual law. I'd like to inform you, sir, that you are outside. Okay, I'm just going to pull a piece of paper out here. You are officially outside of your authority. You are officially violating my constitutional rights. And it states, it states right here, if you read line three of the Code of Ethics of Public Services of the City of Hinckley, dedicated service, all officials and employees, oh, pardon, officials and employees shall not exceed their authority or breach the law or risk others to do so. Let me ask you something, sir. If you do not have RAS to demand my identity and you continue to demand my identity, is that violating okay. the law? The cop struggled to respond to the well-prepared vlogger, despite the man's provocative attitude and even made a mistake by bluntly saying he didn't care about the law. Going inside, recording inside the computer and stuff, which is you a will, violation of You will find it is not. 
I am not in violation, violation of any privacy of laws. Dev. Yes, you are. Sir, so, if you need privacy, it is your I obligation you, to create I it. I told you not to be recording, and you zoomed in onto my computer. Well, I actually zoomed in far far before you so, asked anything of way, me. I you told also you to contacted stop and you me. You did not stop. Did you touch me? So, I told you to stop. Did you I make physical to, contact with me? I reached out to Are you aware that that's assault? Okay. That is simple battery. with you. Well, then am so, I free to go? Do you have an idea? I do. Can I Always. See it, no, you may not. From this point forward, I will observe my right to remain silent. I have nothing further to say to you without a lawyer present. Using invasion of privacy as a justification to demand an ID, the civilian still evaded the obligations and then exercised his right to remain different. That's fine. Just get all of my supervisor and I'll see you. Maybe he'll oh, educate you. Do you really have to be so rude? When my rights were violated and I was assaulted by somebody who was sworn to uphold my constitutional rights, I get pretty upset, sir. Realizing he couldn't do much, the deputy told the vlogger he would call his supervisor. However, the man got rude and played the victim, which the cop wouldn't tolerate. I'm sorry to hear that you don't know my rights or care about my rights and you want to try and use tools of intimidation to take my rights away from me. I'm not going to have it. Take any rights away from Are you demanding my ID? I am asking for Am I free to go? Hang on, real quick. Am I free to go? I said, hang on. Am I being detained? I already answered that question for And you. what crime do you suspect of me to be committing? Have committed or am about to commit? What law? You, you're being very quiet here, Mr. Nygaard. You understand what I'm doing here, don't you? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. <sighs> Mind you, folks, this is day two. We've already got a cop who's addicted to identification. God, man, it's like crack to these people. The YouTuber repeatedly asked the officer if he was free to leave since he was not detained, but the deputy refused to let him leave. Yeah, do you mind? I don't have any weapons. I'm a little cold. Can I put my hand in my pocket? Oh, let me, do you mind if I just check? I do. Sure? I do mind, but I will. Uh, I can kind of see that. I know that I'm under a Terry stop here yeah, right now. Fine. Yeah. I know I'm on a Terry stop and I know that gives you the right to pat me down. So by the way, it's an unlawful Terry stop. Just so you know, for the record. Shivering in the cold, the YouTuber asked if he could put his hands in his pockets. The officer searched him for weapons, but the man became combative again. No, he just keeps following me around with his phone. I'm in public, sir. It. So. C. Hawkinson, tyrant, in charge. Oh, you're coming here? Okay. All right, yeah, if you want to talk with him and deal with it, that'd be great. I wish to be free to go. Well, if you want to leave... I wish then... to be free from your detention, sir. Okay, well, then you can leave our parking lot. That's perfect. The YouTuber kept following the deputy. Eventually, he was allowed to leave the parking lot because they realized they couldn't detain him. These cops were dumbfounded when this enlightened citizen stood his ground. In the next case, unlawful postal office to order. Ma'am, he's a law enforcement officer. Yeah. He's, he's, he's not a feelings enforcement officer, ma'am. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today, we're at the United States Post Office here in Akron, Ohio. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. This YouTuber went to the United States Postal Office in Akron, Ohio to film and exercise his First Amendment rights. He clearly knew what he was doing and was ready for confrontation. So the government is allowed to have security against us, but the minute that we want some security and accountability, transparency, that becomes an issue. Shortly after, a postal officer tried to stop him from filming and even showed disrespect to a law enforcement officer because the officer saw no wrongdoing. 
Ma'am, he's a law enforcement officer. Please he's don't he's, talk to he's me. not a feelings enforcement officer, ma'am. Don't talk to the police. I don't want him talking to me. I don't want to be recorded. So basically, you're telling him he can do whatever he wants. No, he says I can't break the law. He's making me feel uncomfortable. Well, he's making me feel uncomfortable. The woman clearly disregarded what the officer had said. In her view, she was well within her rights and even requested to speak with the officer's supervisor. Hey, hey sir, could I just get your name and badge number, please? Yep. It's the First Amendment, ma'am. Freedom of press. I just, I'm, I'm trying to educate. I'm just trying to educate you, ma'am. That's all. Sir, would you mind if I get that name back? Yeah, sure. Well, so far this officer is doing really well. She wants this officer to enforce her feelings, but he's a law enforcement officer, not a feelings enforcement officer. It's freedom of speech. This is America. This is America. You were talking about me. You're trying to have me arrested for nothing. Other employees and patrons in the post office repeatedly mentioned how uncomfortable they were with the YouTuber's presence. The manager then informed the officer about the unlawful directive that their inspector had allegedly given them. Damn, ma'am, that's what I'm doing here. That's it. No, nothing nefarious, nothing illegal. By walking, ma'am, before the police officer got here, I was walking around filming the. I know, and I was uncomfortable. You, you felt comfortable that I was recording the walls? You felt. I could see your. No, but you felt uncomfortable that I was recording the walls? I felt uncomfortable. Okay. I mean, I can't help that at all. I mean. Where was I when the police officer got here? Nowhere near you, right? <laughs> yeah, I was recording. I didn't record you. Okay, I was just trying to be forthcoming. Here's your card. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Akron Police Department, Officer Sims, 1322. He's doing a great job so far. I can't believe that he has to deal with that rude public servant is working here. There's no reason for her to treat him that way. Just because he's not, he's not enforcing her feelings and her ignorance of the law and she's going to get mad at him. Unbelievable. It's like he's damned if he do, does, damned if he doesn't. He's doing the right thing and he still has to deal with a bunch of BS. A female patron voiced discomfort about the journalist filming nearby. He promptly reassured her that he hadn't filmed her and had kept a respectful distance throughout. So the officer came inside. I missed the front end of the conversation. He came inside. There's his car right out here, Akron Police Department. So he came inside while I was just walking around recording nobody in particular. And they still want to throw a fit about I'm making them uncomfortable recording the walls. Now that they made a big deal about it, yeah, I'm recording you. You're part of the story. You made yourself part of the story. She said she was going to call the postal inspectors. I hope she does so she can get some sort of education today on the laws and our rights. The YouTuber resumed his tour inside the post office, recounting the events that had prompted the staff to call the police earlier. The manager added that she intended to notify her inspector as well. that making people feel uncomfortable is not against the law. <laughs> Finally, an officer that gets it. Finally. Hey, officer, just real quick. Um, 
I just want to uh, thank you for doing the right thing and upholding your oath to the Constitution and sure. not, not enforcing feelings. I get people are going to feel some kind of way, and I could understand that, but I wasn't, where was I when you came here? Over here somewhere. Yeah, nowhere near people, right? So I wasn't, oh. I started recording once you got here, so it wasn't. There. Not impeding people from coming and going or making threats. Yeah. Exercise no, rights. but I, I, do, I, truly, I do appreciate you, you, you doing yeah. the right thing. And I'm sorry you had to deal with that oh, nasty sorry. woman. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. She didn't, she didn't like you too much. The officer returned to the counter, informing the employee about the YouTuber's activities in the postal office before departing. That's the walk of honor, not the walk of shame. That's the walk of honor. He did the right thing here today. And that's what we love to see. Officer Sams did the right thing. The ironic part is I don't even remember. Um, hey, sir. Right. You want me to smile? Nah, this one, you got me, I got you. Oh, okay. Tip for tat, got it. No problem. I don't, I don't mind people taking my picture. There's cameras everywhere. As the YouTuber kept exploring the building, the man suddenly saw one of the earlier customers taking pictures of him. When he tried conversing, the person fled. All right, let's get ourselves a stamp. Before we get out of here. Hi, can I just get one stamp, please? Take it. Thank you. So the reason why you buy a stamp is so you get a survey, so you can give feedback, because they don't care. They don't, absolutely don't care. I could have gave you a stamp. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Thank you for your kindness. You too, you too ma'am. You have a wonderful day. Just before leaving, the YouTuber decided to buy a stamp so he could provide feedback on how poorly he was treated then proceeded to exit the postal office. The law-abiding cop educated the postal officers, despite their apparent indifference. In this final instance, the boss found herself humbled by her own team. Come out the car. Are you serious? I'm good. Are you serious? I'm good. Come, come to the back of the car. Are you, are you, are you serious, Sarge? Really? You see how you're driving? I have a friend with me. On March 14th, 2024, Miami Gardens police officers saw a car swerving on Northwest 2nd Avenue near 202nd Terrace. They decided to pull it over for a routine traffic stop. Huh? Come out the car. Me? Come out the car. Go Are you serious? I'm good. Are you serious? I'm good. Come, come to the back of the car. As the officer walked up to the car, he told the nervous driver to get out. But when the driver did, the officer looked disappointed right away. Come, come to the back of the car. Are you, are you, are you serious, Sarge? Really? You see how you're driving? I'm, I have a friend with me. Hey, Gomez, you on? It was actually someone from work, Sergeant Andrea Smith. She seemed drunk mumbling unclearly, and even saying she had a friend with her in the car, though she was alone. Smith. What's up? All right, um, I'm gonna be performing some, uh, feels right to testing with me, okay? Okay. Are you willing to uh, take these steps? Absolutely. Uh, are you wearing any, uh, you have any contacts? No. No? Okay, um, so uh, what about your shoes? Would you like to take your shoes off? Yeah. No? Okay. So we're gonna do come we're gonna come over here. Any, any injuries or any, any injuries, anything like that? No? Alright, so first thing we're gonna do, I need you to um you Another officer showed up and told Sergeant Smith she had to do a sobriety test outside. She agreed, but the officer had to stop the test because he was called away for something else. All right, Smith, uh... So that means you was, you was calling the sobriety test, you was called a sobriety test because they started told you not to? Yes, they advised me that uh, Miramar is coming to take over. Okay. I mean, I so, started and so, now... So in the middle of the sobriety test, it told, it told you no, right? <clears throat> Yeah, he told me to stop. My sergeant okay. told me to stop. So. Conflict of interest? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. He told me to stop, and I'm just advising you okay. that uh, Miramar is coming to take over. Okay. 
The officer sergeant had told him not to do the test and to let Miramar handle it instead. Sergeant Smith seemed unhappy with this choice. <laughs> the special team finally arrived and arrested the drunk sergeant. When they questioned her, she could hardly speak clearly. She, she refused everything? Yeah. Okay. I didn't, I didn't, I just took the breath test. Okay, but she's probably gonna refuse that. Yeah, she refused. Mm -hmm. well, someone, someone said over here that you were, you, you were shaking. You wanna see? Listen. While that was satisfying to witness, it doesn't compare to this evil officer who was chased down and caught by his own friends for kidnapping his own son. After that, 2312 to dispatch, we've got him going southbound at about mile post uh, 221. 2312, he's gonna go ahead and take off from us. We're in this. We got a pursuit going southbound. Have you found and let Eugene Springfield down so I can cover it if he goes in the city. Do it, do it. Three drove are going to redirect it down the freeway. Turn around, turn around, pin him. Turn around, pin him. The officers acted quickly and took out the suspect's car. What a heroic act. But the situation had just started because the suspect was in no mood to surrender. And remember, throughout the incident, the officers had to be careful as there was a one-year-old in the car as well. He's fired! He's fired! He's fired! Three twelve shots fired at me. I'm good, I think. We're back in this southbound. After having an intense shootout with the cops and almost killing one of them, the suspect makes a run for it again. But the officers, in an act of true courage, do something that the suspect could not have expected. Watch your crossfire, watch your crossfire. Get behind hard cover! Get behind hard cover! Get behind hard cover. Right as I got out. Put your hands up! I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. I, I heard it. Yeah, so did I. You see the guy in there? No, he was on his phone. I could see him on his phone. Then he put his phone down, and then I heard that shot. It was like, pretty close. Okay, shield. shield. All right. Shield, why don't you run a shield team with a rifle? Okay. Huizar shot himself in the head at the end of the pursuit. The child, identified as one-year-old Roman Santos, was found in the back seat unharmed and was taken safely into police custody, said Oregon State Police Captain Kyle Kennedy. Watching an ex-cop trying to abduct his own child is insane, but what's even better is watching a high-authority person getting humbled by an officer, which is exactly what happened in this next case. I'm sorry, who are you? I'm the chancellor! I'm in March 2019, the Rutgers Newark Chancellor's driver struck a parked police cruiser. The officers involved in the incident asked the driver for information about the accident, but this rubbed the Chancellor the wrong way, and the way she behaved next can only be described as crazy. Can I talk to your person, please? Yeah, she's on her way right here. I, I understand, I understand. No, you don't understand. I understand, I'm just trying to do my job, that's it. I have to just make sure. Rutgers police vehicle. I understand Appreciate. that. I understand that, but I I can't just let it go. 
It's not like I can just let it go. I have to do what, what's what's for what see for There's my job no as well. Damage. I understand that, but that's not up for that's not up for me. That's I have to make sure my supervisor is aware of what's going on. I understand. Absolutely no damage. I know that, anything. and I explained that to her, but she still wants to come. She still wants to come, and she wants to make sure that's our policy. That's the way. That's the way. If I miss work. my airplane, you folks are in trouble. Okay. She's on the left. The chancellor is so corrupted by her power that she can't even see what a terrible human being she is. And she's not the only one. Her assistant is equally terrible. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm not well. I'm being held from going to the airport. I missed my plane. Okay. You folks are in trouble. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm the chancellor. I'm uh, okay. I I, I, I I don't know. Yeah. Can we can we yeah, get another car? Another car. She, she needs, she needs no. No. I don't want to do that. Just give me five minutes when this occurs. I actually was not. I was standing right here. Okay. Who's the she? Who's on their way? My sergeant. And my lieutenant. They're not going to be here. They're going to the be here. Lieutenant? They're on their way. They're driving. Sergeant away. LeFand and who's the LT? Here? Lieutenant uh, ja um, from Jordan. Hey, They're on their lovely. way. Five blue sheet. I just have to make notifications of what, what occurred and that's what I'm doing. Well, you could do that. Take a picture and let her go. She, she's on a university yeah. business. Would you do she's this to miss her the president of the United States? Yes. No. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. We have to do what we have to do. We no, have to do our wouldn't. job just like you have to do your job. No, you have to okay. be thoughtful about doing your job. Okay. okay. Not, not just, you know, following the road. Okay. Okay? I, I'm just going to tell you one thing. I 100% agree with my partner here, so yes, we're just going to stand by for the supervisors. and. He says, but now it's not. So you have to... That's the thing about I'm just being trying to listen. Jim that's Rogers the thing about being thoughtful. Just heard the information that the vehicle has to get to the airport for a flight. Copy that. Receive. We're getting that information. I'd love to see them do this to President Barge. Oh no, they wouldn't. Can I just have your driver's license and insurance? Please, oh, Rutgers Police. What did he just say? Receive. I just need your license, your driver's, um, and the registration for the vehicle and insurance. Florida license of a driver, and you can let them go. And we'll do a report. If we need anything, we can always call back. Have to. Receive. Do you have your driver's license with you? What did he tell you? I wasn't driving. Okay. She wasn't in the car. What I can't decide what's worse their sense of entitlement or their lack of empathy and respect for the officer. Either way, both of them continue to bully the cops until the very end. Should we do something else? That's what you should have done. Thank you. Have a good night. See you later. Okay. Yeah, activating body cam. This is going to be um, handled in house. We're going to do a report on it, follow up as necessary. The chancellor later apologized after the video of the incident was released to the public. She said, I write with my heartfelt apology to you for the way I reacted to the situation. I realized clearly that I was not my best self that morning. I have great respect for RUPD and am grateful for the work that our officers do every day to keep our campus and community safe and secure. What's your deal, man? Get out of the car. It's police. Get out of the car. You were involved in a crash, okay? On February 21st, 2021, Rio Rancho police were called to the scene of a hit-and-run crash unrelated to this case. Upon investigating the original crash, they found skid marks and a large downed tree. The officer noticed a male subject was sitting inside the vehicle, and they were shocked once they found who the suspect really was. 112, there's somebody in the Mustang. Yeah. What's going on? What's up, man? What happened? No, I'm just hanging out, dude. What happened with the crash? Well, I don't know nothing about the crash, dude. Okay. 
You don't know nothing about it. Is this your car? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what happened? Nothing. Okay. Where do you live at? You have your driver's license with you? I, I do. Can, yeah. I, can I see it, please? Do you need it? For yes. What reason do you need it for? Because you were just involved in a crash, and I'm oh, making yeah. sure who you are and what's going on here. Okay. That's all. You have any guns in the car? I do not have okay. any guns in the car. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you, first off, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm no, good. No injuries? Dude, I'm, I'm good. Okay, what what happened with the crash here? Dude, I'm not, I'm just hanging out, dude. That, that doesn't make sense, okay? No, I, I know, I know. What happened with the crash? Yeah, I'm, I'm not involved in any crash or anything. No, you like are that. involved in a crash. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. You're not involved in a crash? No, I'm not. Okay. So I do not have my driver's license on me? Okay. Yeah. At all. I was okay. just pulled over to the road, just hanging out. That's okay. all I Have do. you seen your car? No. Huh? Have you seen what your car looks like? Have I seen my car? Yeah. Well, try to get his name and stuff, I guess. What's your name, bud? Well, it's completely I'm folded I'm over. I'm not involved. Yeah, you are, because you can see your tracks coming right here. Once they found who the suspect really was, the suspect, clearly intoxicated, attempted to conceal his identity. Despite the officer's persistent questioning, he refused to reveal his name, leading to a tense and dramatic confrontation. Get completely folded. Just being uncooperative. You have no idea. We need to come out here. Come on up. How much did you drink today, man? Why well, you smell like alcohol? Get out of the car. Go ahead and step out of the car, man. Get out of the car. What's your get deal, man? Get out of the car. It's police. Get out of the car. You were involved in the crash, okay? Okay? Give me your phone. Okay. Turn around. Turn around and put your hands behind your back for me. Put your hands behind your back for me. Okay? Okay. Are you an officer? No, I don't. I don't have a gun. Are you? Are you a police officer? I said it was. You are. With who? With APD. Okay. Are you gonna talk to us now? Well, I'm. I'm not. Am I doing anything stupid to you to fucking put me? No, 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 no. Okay, we we've told you numerous times. Okay. We want you to calm down and talk to us. Some, I just told you I'm just sitting here on the road. Right? Okay, I understand that. Okay. Okay, explain to us what happened. Go ahead and spin around here. You heard that right. The suspect was actually a police officer trying to hide his identity. Let's just say he did a terrible job. He really thought sitting there and not responding to the officers would save him. That's how stupid alcohol makes you. Explain to us what happened. I'm just hanging out here on the road. No, you're not just hanging out okay. on the road. Okay, how long have you been a police officer? Uh, does that have does that have anything to do with? What I'm trying to get, gather gather okay. what you're doing here. What okay? I'm doing here is I'm hanging on the road. You're hanging on the road here. That's okay. what I'm doing. Okay. What's what's going on tonight? Did you crash? What what's going no, on? I did not crash. Okay. Is this your car? This, this is my car. Yeah. This is your car. Yeah. Okay. Where were you coming the, from? The title is in my. Where name, were you yeah. coming from tonight? Where I'm coming from tonight? Yes. The. Um, you don't know where you're coming from. No, I I, I do know where I'm coming from, but that does that have a, does that have anything to do with? I'm trying to figure out what happened. Okay, explain have, to me I what have, happened with the crash. With you what, got, you, you, with, your car's crashed, and you have a white with, car up there that's crashed. I have no idea about that crash up there. Okay, I did not crash my car. Okay, why is it crashed then? I have no idea. Okay, who crashed it? I have no idea. You have no idea? No, okay. I don't. Do you have your driver's license with you? I do. Let me see it. It's, it's not on me, actually. Where's it at? My driver's license? Yes. Yeah. back at my house. Back at your house? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, it's, 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 it's a stiff camera. Yeah, you're good. No, what's, you're good. You're good, bro. Turn around. We've got to check the still, all right? I did. No, you're good. I guess, I guess, yeah, it's a It's a dip. I threw that. Yeah. What's your name? Well, am I, am I like, am I, I'm like, am I detained right now? Like, you I'm are detained because you were involved in a motor vehicle crash. I, I was 
Okay. I did not crash with any of these okay. things, but okay. Instead of helping his fellow officers, he makes their jobs harder. But the other officers are patient with him because they know he is one of them and clearly not in his right mind. But their patience does not last for long. Yeah, okay. Am I involved with that over there? Or We're trying to figure this out. Yeah, dude, I'm not involved in anything over there at okay, all. Okay, great. So, What's your name? Do I have to give you that? Yes, you do. Okay, so... I don't I don't think I do. No, you do. At all, to be honest with you. Because I'm just sitting here, I'm hanging out. How long have you been sitting there, though? A long time. No, you haven't. The car is smoking. Oh, okay. 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 And we just got a call of a crash. That's okay. why we, that's no, why we just good. got you're here. Good. Okay. You're good. You're good. That yeah. car is smoking over there. Your yeah. car is smoking. I can feel the heat coming off the car. No, no, I, it I, just I happened. This is my, my car is on. Okay. You're right. You're right. So tell me I, what I, happened. No, I, I, I watched. I saw. I saw that car actually over there. Okay. Fucking crash. Okay. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm just hanging out here by myself. Okay. Okay. What's your name? I don't have to give you any. I'm gonna of that. ask you one more time. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, you're good. What's your name? I don't have to give you any. Of yes, that. you do. I'm, here. I'm hanging out. I have nothing. You want me to arrest you for not giving you, not giving me your name? Okay. Is that is that does that is that sound normal? Sure. That does. You're sitting here drunk. Crash you know, in saying, a vehicle. No, okay. okay. I'm gonna ask you one more time. What is your name? I, I don't have to give you my name. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Okay. You're under arrest for DWI. Okay. Stop moving. Okay. Seriously? Stay here. Really... Stay here. Stop moving. Okay. Yeah. All right. We don't need to be following the officer. He's just asking you questions. Answer the questions. Okay. I'm shaking because I'm cold, by the way. So don't okay. freak out on that part. Okay. You're good. Any guns in the car? Can you put that? Can you put the phone on the pocket? Come on over here. Can I get one? I'll, I'll get it here in a minute. Okay. I'll get it over here in a minute. So I got arrested for what? You're being arrested for DWI. Okay. Even after ignoring the officer's consistent efforts and getting arrested, he is still not complying with them. This is what a dumb human being looks like, and to think that he is in charge of protecting other people is crazy. You're an officer, right? Yeah. You don't give us your name, we're gonna book you under John Doe. No, 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 I got it. I got okay, it. So what's your name? So, what's your name? So you you arresting for DWI, so no, what's like, your name? We'll, we'll go down this path. Okay, yes. we'll go down this path. path. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're good, so you're what's good. What's your yeah. name? Yeah. Crashes. This is this one's a single vehicle. Okay. Okay. So this car is a single vehicle. He takes out this tree. Wait, the Mustang? Hathaway. So the dart flees as well from the other crash. He is coming this way, makes the turn. He's ending up over here and just starts driving through the yard, the oh, okay. area, and gets hung up right here. So, meanwhile, Mustang meanwhile, may or may not have had anything to do with this one. Let's see. Yeah, Mustang, no, Mustang, he's out of good. He's lost control somewhere. So he hits it hits sideways. It spins the car out. Wait, where's Madams? It spins the car out, and then he goes, and then he goes that yes, way so he, and drags it. Yeah, so he's, he's up here, it's sideways, hits the tree, knocks it, and just basically just drives it right back. So, so Mustang guy, has, it seems like he has nothing to do with this crash over here. They didn't even see each other, freak each other out? No. <laughs> no, so the Mustang's coming this way. Yeah, Mustang's coming this way. What the fuck happened? Right, uh, <laughs> This is a mess. Thank goodness he's off duty and behind bars. These next officers pulled over the wrong people, but by the time they realized their mistake, it was already too late. Oh, 
What's going on, boss? Also, Mariano, Atlanta Police. Way back there. When you're leaving that residential area right there on Temple. I did what now? You're making a right on Temple. Mm -hmm. Right? That light there is very small, and you made the right-hand turn. Okay, so that's what I'm stopping you. You mean the angled light? Yes, sir. It was green. It, so, even though at that angle, that's for the other way. And I, people always get that confused. <clears throat> but it's a small light. All right, so, and that's for the opposite direction, okay? When the truck had pulled over as instructed, Officer Mariano walked over to the driver and politely explained to the man that he had run a traffic light, even if it may have been unintentional on his part. Do you actually like something you Any guns weapons in the car, boss? Any guns weapons in the car? You still staying in Winter Garden? Okay, perfect. Hey, you got any guns weapons on you, boss? Uh, I, I just asked. I hey, it's Florida. Everybody got a gun. Yeah. Right? All right, y'all stay in the car for me. Officer Mariano then asked to see his driver's license and politely asked if he was carrying any guns or weapons. Officer Mariano asked that the driver remain in the vehicle while he ran his license. How you guys doing? Good. Moving? Uh, yeah. yeah okay. Moving. Yeah, you guys went through that, that red light there. Yeah. Red. Tampa. That's a very strange intersection. Yeah, I, I, I've seen multiple people run run through that one before. Um, not a huge deal. Not a pedestrian traffic. Bunch of cars going through there. So, yes, sir, I recognize you. No, I know who you are. As soon as, as soon as the window rolled down and I can see your face, I know who you are. How are you guys doing today? Okay. After a few seconds, Officer Ham approached the truck by the passenger side door, and he was in for a big surprise when he saw who the driver was. It was the head of internal affairs, Dwayne Rivers. They had stopped their boss. I'm not really a big traffic guy. I'm like guns and drugs and stolen kids kind of guy. Okay. And you got that in your back truck. Cool. Just for so you appreciate your night. We'll go out of there, all right? Thank you. Yes, sir. An embarrassed officer, Mariano, returned the driver's license to the man he now realized was his boss and apologized for not recognizing him. After that, Dwayne Rivers was sent on his way. These officers were polite and respectful to their superiors, even when they didn't know who they were. However, the same can't be said about this arrogant deputy in this next case. You don't have any yet, You're but right now we're running sir. you through multiple federal databases. Yeah. Okay, nobody's coming up with your name. You also coming back on a terror watch list. So we're gonna secure you for our protection and yours. We're gonna put you in the back of a police car. Where, where's that weapon at, sir? It's over. On December 20th, 2019, an FBI agent traveled to Carabel to investigate police corruption in rural Northwest Florida to interview a deputy who had issued a ticket some weeks earlier, but later had it revoked. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. That'll work. You run your body cam? I, I am now because I don't know how legit you are at the moment. It's okay. Special Agent Hannah. The FBI. Okay. You got that on body cam? I do, but I don't understand what the problem is with you meet me at the office. I'll talk to the U.S. Attorney's Office about it. You can cut off the reporting device now. Okay. Well, I will when I leave the area, sir. Agent Alexis Hatton met with Deputy Rolf Gordon about the situation in a parking lot, but even after showing his identification, the deputy still wasn't buying it. Hey, TJ, this guy is uh, telling me to turn my body camera off and telling me he's going to contact other people to get involved with this. Let me get his tag number real quick. It's going to be LKST57. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe this. No. Uh, there's something fishy with this right here. Deputy Gordon then contacted a colleague to report the situation and verify that the agent was who he claimed to be by having him run the agent's license plate number. Franklin, does that come back to any government agency? This is easy to come by. It just advises Advanced Wiring Company. Do you work for a wiring company? Further. The agent's vehicle wasn't traced back to any federal agency, which made the deputy grow suspicious, even after Agent Hatton told him it was a covert car. I feel like I'm being detained. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You're the one who called me here, sir. How yeah. did you get my phone number? I can't get that information. I ain't saying he can't tell me how he got my information. With the deputy's attitude toward him, Agent Hatton wondered whether he was currently being detained. Hey, you are detained at this time, sir. 
33 Franklin. I got one whiskey mic detained at this time. 17's on the way. Hey, I don't think this guy's legit, man. Here, take my weapon off, okay? 26 Franklin. I'm, I'm not, not, not going to put you in cuffs. Put the narrative for this call. That's where something that? he's got detained. Okay. I've got my to be a federal right. agent. You do got, is it on? Do I have permission to take it off? No, you don't have permission. Okay, take it. just hang tight, right? I'm not. However, only 10 seconds later, Deputy Gordon announced to the FBI agent that he was now being detained. Agent Hatton humbly got out of the car with his hands up, only requesting permission to remove his gun. But you're being very uncooperative with me. I, you asked me to come up here, you called my personal cell phone number. You, you can't tell me how you got it. Your vehicle's coming back to a wiring company, not the it's FBI. It's a covert vehicle. Okay. You Dude, get would mad? you like to see some registration? You get mad at me would because you, I turned my body like camera to, on. Would you like to see some registration? And you know a lot of stuff about me. Would you like to see the registration, sir? I, I don't really want anything from you at this point. My supervisor's on the way. Excellent. The deputy told the agent that he was not cooperating when he had done everything he had been told up to that point. The agent was, however, pleased to learn that the deputy's supervisor was coming. Yes, sir. Jacksonville, this is Special Agent Hatton. 33 Franklin, just 43, this individual's saying his name is Special Agent Hatton out of Jacksonville from the FBI. He keeps getting on his radio, but I do not hear any traffic coming back from the other end. Deputy Gordon was more than happy to find more reasons to be suspicious as Agent Hatton tried to radio his officer but didn't get any immediate response. So you're forcing me to give you my driver's license? That's what my captain just just okay. asked me to get it from right. you. We need to find out who he is. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely, yes, sir. The deputy's captain requested the agent's driver's license, which he reluctantly agreed to give as they continued to await the supervisor. I told him that you were here to investigate me about an issue, and he said this needed to be handled through the office, not on the side of the road. And you said, yeah, and you okay. said that, that that wasn't going to happen. You were going to contact somebody else. I was going to contact the U.S. Attorney's office. That's okay. Correct. Yeah. And then we're just trying to check your validity. You you are you called a deputy sheriff's personal cell phone. You can't tell me how you got the number. That's right. Your tag's not coming back to the FBI. Correct. Okay. I haven't seen a badge. I've seen an ID card. I haven't seen a badge. You have not seen. No, sir. I haven't seen a badge. I've seen an ID card. I handed this to you. Did you grab it? Take it out of my hand. Do you not see a badge? I see a badge now. That's the first time I saw oh, the badge, sir. You don't need to be a deputy. I saw this. He kept opening this. Yeah. That's called okay. my badge. My okay. That's very professional you to say that statement. But anyway, uh, that I, I was very observant to be a deputy. Because you never showed me that. You showed me the inside of it, uh, but not the badge. Are you hearing all this, Larry? Oh, everybody's going to hear all this, sir. The agent radioed back and asked the deputy if he had informed the sergeant about the reason for his visit. In his response, Deputy Gordon said the agent had no badge, but he was embarrassed when he was shown. Hey, I, so I come up and... Uh, okay. He called my personal phone. Okay. He, he called, called my his personal, phone. His personal phone and said he needed to meet with him. That he was investigating me he's for a ticket that I wrote. Police corruption and was requesting a copy of the ticket. He's saying he's armed, but he. I haven't seen a gun yet. He's saying he's armed. He's got a little badge Dispatch and he's got this says the FBI license. on it and he's got a he credential when he opens it up. This is his license. Um, Seriously? I swear to Lord Jesus. So yeah. he's on the phone. He's got a radio. Do you have a picture of his friends? Uh, no, he's refusing to show him now. Yeah, he's very uncooperative. And he previously ordered the deputy to turn off his body. Yeah. I didn't have it on to begin with because I thought this was a legitimate he's thing. Uh, he didn't answer. I've got a picture of the guy's DM and I've got a picture of the photo that pops up in the little watch list. The supervisor arrived on the scene and Officer Gordon confidently met with him. Just 
being detained. Double lock them. Mm -hmm. You don't have any yet, You're but right now we're detained, running sir. you through multiple federal databases. Yeah. Okay, nobody's coming up with your name. You also coming back on a terror watch list. So we're gonna secure you for our protection and yours. We're gonna put you in the back of a police car. Where, where's that weapon at, sir? It's on, it's on my right side. You got any other weapons on you, sir? Uh, no, just my wallet. All right, I'm just gonna pat you down sure, real quick. Go ahead. What if somebody pulls your name up, brother? You're good to go. Yeah, we're just trying to verify you. Since you don't want to give us no info for nobody to contact. That's just the wallet that I you were showing me a while ago. Yeah, that's my wallet. Don't touch that uh, thing right there. That's my uh, law enforcement. It's got all my notes on it for what I've done today. You're not allowed to see that. I'm not allowed to see what? Well, if I you know. go to jail, I'm going to impound this to the, to the sheriff's office. I'm going to get a search for him. We'll touch everything. Yeah, good. All right. All right. He's clear. Name my name's Sergeant Carroll. Okay. Hey, we well, unlock. Y'all don't lose that badge. So you my telephone's on there, okay, brother? Franklin, the five. Pull that hat out, John. Are you able to take a call from FBI? Just take the whole rack down. Just sit on top of it. Go to my vehicle. And that jacket. Ten four two. He's going to transfer it to you, sir. Ten four. Thirty three Franklin. We we've uh, detained this whiskey Mike and got him in cuffs in the back of the car now. This is where things got serious. After several moments of consultation, Deputy Gordon and the sergeant walked back to Agent Hatton. They put him in handcuffs and into the back of a patrol car for absolutely no reason. I can't see in there. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. All right, I'm turning it on right now. Open the door. I can't breathe. Sir, I can't open the door. You're being detained right now. I got the air on full blast, sir. It ain't the heat. Agent Hatton was far from comfortable sitting with handcuffs on his wrists in the back of a car in the hot sun, but that was not Deputy Gordon's problem. I had the defroster on. Agent Hatton once again asked, but was again denied air. He then let Deputy Gordon know that there would be consequences for what he had done to him. The deputy remained unfazed, but didn't expect what happened only a few seconds later. That's what I'm doing right now. They just called back. Sure. Hey, he go he go. What's he doing here? He is legit. Who 10 is four, five. Uh, I'm gonna Who just called? Can't cuff him now. Uh, Captain Webb just called. Who's Captain Webb? Who verified? Captain Webb. I don't know. 33 to 5. Could you advise me who verified that this person was legit? Agent Hatton's identity had been verified. It was an awkward moment for the deputy, as he now realized how much trouble he was in, along with the other sergeant, who was silly enough to put an FBI agent in handcuffs. He called me here, Sheriff, and says he called my personal cell phone, and he goes, you know? I don't know, he, he refuses to tell me. Okay. Uh, he said, I, I'm, I need to discuss some things uh, that's happened in the care belt. His name is Lawrence Lynn. And he's down in this area on an assignment. He's out of Lawrence Lee, he's out of Tallahassee on the FBI. Who's he talking? Who's he talking? Who's his way of talking? Jacksonville on his little mobile radio. He's the supervisor of, of the gentleman that y'all are out with. Oh, that's the supervisor. But I can't talk to you right now until you're on the phone with, with his supervisor. Told me I need to discuss some things with you about the Carabelle area. Are you working over here today? Franklin, said, yes, sir. Uh, you did advise Lawrence. So, he told me to meet him here. I came up. He said, "Can you, do you mind me sitting in my car with me real quick?" He showed me. He flipped open his wallet. Sure we and it showed it. credentials. It didn't show a He didn't show a badge, but showed FBI in his name. 
So I came in there and he goes, I need to discuss a, a ticket on a Maryland Bing that you wrote, which is a ticket that I wrote, yeah. but I actually rescinded it. Uh, I said, okay. Um, I said, do you mind if I go pull it up on my on my CAD so I can recall what's going on here because I know you can't tell me about it and I want to get it right. So I went in there at the same time I'm pulling up the report, I called TJ, I said, hey, is this, should I be getting interviewed on the side of the road or should he be doing something else? And TJ says, he needs to go through the front office and set up an interview time. Well, as soon as I told the gentleman that you need to set up an interview time, he goes, that's all right. I'm just going to call the state attorney on your he called the US, attorney. Uh, U.S. attorney on you. So then I activated my body camera. I didn't have it on the whole time. The deputy should at least be smart enough to release Agent Hatton immediately. Still, he spoke to the sheriff who had just arrived, trying to justify his shameful actions. Get down here on official business. I'm going to let him go. Let him go let him by go. his way. Yeah. While Deputy Gordon tried to explain himself, he was instructed on the radio to release the agent immediately. But in a few seconds, the deputy would realize he was in even more trouble than he thought. All right, sir. Call 911. Call, I need a medical attention right now. Unlock me. Call, call 911. Call 911. We're, we're releasing you right no, now, call sir. Call 911 now. Call 911. I need 30, 30, 30, 30. 30. They're begging you to cut off your. The deputy went to the patrol car to release the deputy, but by now, Agent Hatton had suffocated for too long and needed medical attention. Things went from bad to worse for the arrogant deputy, who wasn't so smug anymore. Franklin to 33, can you give me an exact address? We're at the new substation for the sheriff's office, Franklin. Jacksonville, I need 911. I've asked for help. I've been in the car and they've had me smoking in the back. 10 4, can you advise if it's next door to the new dollar store? That's 10 4. After the handcuffs were removed, Agent Hatton could be heard hyperventilating and proceeded to remove his sweater. He then went to his car and called 911 himself. He's on real quick, John. It's on now. It, it was on when. I, how could I not touch How could I touch it? It's on. Yeah. 911, I, I asked for the sheriff to call 911. They won't. Yeah. I, I would guess my window is open back there. Deputy Gordon got paranoid after seeing Agent Hatton's situation and asked his colleague to verify that his air conditioning was indeed on while the agent was in the car. I've got some water in here. That's a sealed water, sir. While they waited for the ambulance to arrive, the agent asked for water, and the guilt-ridden deputy hurried to get him some from the patrol car. Ambulance is about 10 minutes away, sir. You need another bottle of water, sir? Deputy Gordon suddenly became very hospitable to Agent Hatton, telling him how far away the ambulance was and asking if he needed a second bottle of water. But the agent did not respond. Deputy Gordon grew so paranoid as they waited that he kept explaining himself to anyone who cared enough to listen. Good afternoon. To everyone's relief, the ambulance finally arrived, and an EMT rushed to attend to Agent Hatton in his car. Yeah, it's a, it's a long story. Uh, so he called me on my phone to meet with me about a matter. Uh, and he was questioning me on a ticket that I wrote. He said he worked for another agency, which turns out to be legit, but 
at the time. When one of the paramedics asked what had happened, an embarrassed Deputy Gordon was at a loss for words. What's y'all's unit? unit number? Rescue three. Rescue three. And where y'all going to, sir? TMH. TMH. A stretcher was brought, and Agent Hatton was helped onto it and taken to the ambulance, where the paramedics attended to him. No, he was very he told me he wouldn't give you a business card, wouldn't give you a supervisor. And he, he, direct, he said, you need to turn that body camera off right now. I said, I'm not turning it off till you leave. So, because I originally didn't have it on. I thought he was legit. You know, he's got the car. And I'm going to just start turning the thing on for everybody I talked to, yep. I swear. I thought he, you know, he turned out I couldn't hear anybody because I don't know if you heard me or not. I said, Franklin, he's talking on the radio, but I can't hear any radio traffic coming back. Well, then he turned it up, and then I could hear it, but that still don't mean... Because just the way he was acting. But. Dumb cops like these are why special ops find it hard to carry out their missions effectively. This next auditor is about to show the cops the crucial difference between what's legal and what's illegal. I don't record just people. <laughs> it seems rude. What do you got to put that on TV? YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. You make it so easy, mind it, <laughs> That's not really easy, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not cop block. I'm independent. Oh, okay. See ya. You too. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. This car followed me and took a picture of my license plate. I'm pretty sure it was this car. video anywhere here and the guy told me to park right there okay well come here let me show you something what just tell me what it is i don't need to follow you i read that and the guy told me i could park right there and i can video anywhere here watch how this next officer gets shut up by this courageous auditor this is how all of us must act to have courage in the face of people who want to steal our rights no, this is public. This is public property, and the reason I came back here is because someone followed me and came and took a picture of my license plate when I left here. This is public property. I have a First Amendment right to video and photo. To video. Leave this property, ma'am. I, I have a First Amendment right to be here, like you I can walk in the lobby. Right to be out front. Someone told me I could. You need to quit. Why are you getting so close to me? Why are you? I'm backing up from you. Okay. I'm trying to get you to back up that way. 
I can walk anywhere on here. No, it's a can't. First Amendment right. Yeah, I can. And I parked here with permission. Someone told me to. Okay. When well, I didn't that pass that someone sign. Someone was wrong. It was an officer. Was it you who told me I could park there? One of the officers just told me to when I pulled over there because I didn't want to go past that sign. Go in the lobby and do it, and I can do it right here. And okay. I can take video you of can, you. You can do it out there. I can, can do, do it, it anywhere on this property. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. You need to walk that way. I, I, this is a First Amendment right here. No, it's not. You know, also... Your First Amendment right is out there. No, it's not. No, it's not. This is... That, that's a that's a request. That is That does not change my First Amendment right to video public property and walk on it. Now, if you don't want me parked there, I won't. But one of the officers told me to. Okay. Okay. I'm leaving it right there. You need to quit, man. Why are you getting all up on me? Where's your vehicle? Why? Yeah, I'll move my vehicle. But I'm going to video here all I want to. No, you're going to leave. Hey, this is the first minute, right? No. Arkansas Code 21 1 106. Look at that. That's Arkansas Code. Little Rock uh, Police, you have General Order 19 that says I can do this. But the most important thing is the First Amendment. You need to leave me alone. The First Amendment does not grant you the ability to go wherever you want. On public property. That's what this is, is public property. This area is restricted to authorized no, it's not. personnel. No, it's not. You can go out there. There you can is go in not. The front door. It is You're not. not this is public property. Okay. The officer begins realizing that maybe this is not someone he should be messing with, as she knows her rights. But this still doesn't make him quit. In fact, he gets even more controlling. Okay. You need to go that way. I'm going to walk around again. You already did. I'm going to do it again. No, you're not. You are screwing up, sir. Get your hands off of me. Don't walk where I told you not to. Arkansas Code and Little Rock General Order 19. Here, I got it in my pocket. Step back up on the curb, please. Tobler. 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 Step back up on the curb, please. Just stop it. Always want to give direct directives. Step, step back up on the curb, stop please. Stop it. You don't like being recorded? You're a public servant, aren't you? What is the difference? Public recording of police activity. Yeah. Yeah, you can record police activity. Yeah, First Amendment. I can't anywhere on public want. property. Look at Show the me. Arkansas Code. Show me 21 dash one dash 106. Look at it. You got a copy of it? You said you had a copy of nope. it. Nope. This is the General Order 19, okay, and that's all you need because you have many policies already. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. This is as far as you go. You need to go back up on the curb. You are not going to violate my First Amendment right. And you, you will First not have right. qualified immunity if you keep on. I'm telling you, it won't work in your favor in the long run. Ma'am. Sir. Step back, please. I'm going to walk around on this public property. That's what I'm going to do. I have a right to the do major. It. Yeah, get the major. After this, the corrupt cop stood there in front of her silently. That's how arrogant and dumb some of these officers are. Instead of doing their job correctly, they waste their time asking people. What's your name and badge number, sir? Willard, 27107. Thank you. You're an arrogant, egotistical. Thank you. Right. I appreciate it. I'll just be a minute. 
Finally, the officer quits when his supervisor asks him to go back in and makes him realize that he messed up badly. If it weren't for the supervisor, the corrupt cop would have stood there the whole day. These kinds of officers need a special class where they are taught how to keep their egos in check while interacting with the public. If you think this interaction was crazy, watch this next case where corrupt Mexican officers are schooled when they mess with the wrong guy. On October 25th, 2019, another YouTuber named Gavin Syme posted a video of him confronting officers while he was out photographing in Tequisquia, Pan, Mexico. The cop's reaction to the entire situation is highly alarming. Most of the conversation was in Spanish, so we've added subtitles so you can tag along, clearly. Okay, bo busca la bolsa. Por qué buscar la bolsa? Por qué buscar en la bolsa? Por qué buscar? Ah, mira, estamos haciendo un dispositivo de seguridad. Tenemos reportes de que se ha estado este, moviendo distribuidores de marihuana. Look, marijuana no es ilegal en México. Perdón. Marijuana no es ilegal en México. No, no. La Constitución dice no buscar las bolsas sin razón, ¿no? Bueno, según la Constitución, nos permite hacer inspección a esa persona. No, 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 no. <laughs> nada. Pero déjame nada más. Déjame terminar mi labor y ahorita lo atiendo. ¿Sale? Es el derecha, no buscar. ¿Es su familia? Mira, no hay nada. Ahora sí, dígame que puede ayudarle, caballero. ¿Por qué molesta a la gente? No es una molestia. <risa> Dígame, a los jóvenes les molesta. No, no. ¿Qué es la crema? A ver, no ¿Qué, entiendo. ¿Qué es la violación? No hay una violación. Bueno, well, entonces la constitución dice la gente es seguro en las bolsas y la propiedad. No busca, es, es ilegal a buscar la propiedad sin ¿En qué justificación. ¿En qué dice eso, caballero? ¿Mare? ¿En qué lugar dice eso? No, la Constitución de México dice. Ok, ¿usted conoce el Código Nacional de Procedimientos Penales? ¿Mande? ¿Usted conoce el Código Nacional de Procedimientos Penales? Este no es una investigación, <risa> esta es una violación con, sin razón. Usted tiene todo el derecho, ponga su denuncia en el lugar que usted le convenga. Le voy solo, a pedir de favor. Solo, por favor, no buscar la bolsa sin eh, razón, es la ley. Solamente, permítame hacer mi labor, si usted interfiere es una falta administrativa no, y puede No, tú interfieres con la gente, Ajá. señor. Si ¿Sí? usted me interfiere no, no, no. mi labor... ¿Entiendo la Constitución ¿Sale? de México? ¿Sale? ¿Entiendo la Constitución de México? Retírese, caballero, <risa> únicamente... No así. entiendo todo. Si usted interfiere no. en mi Más labor... Más despacio, por favor. Okay. ¿Habla inglés? No. Ah, si okay. usted interfiere en mi labor... No, no, no. Usted... Solo observa escúchame, por la, escúchame, por la escúchame, seguridad escúchame, de la gente. Sí. Escúchame. Porque es mucho escúchame, corrupción en México, ¿no? Escúchame. Si usted interfiere con la labor... No, no estoy no, no, para, para arrestarlo no. únicamente. ¿Sí? No, ya basta. The officer has never had someone speak to him like that. But this is just the beginning because the officers keep defending their corruption until the very end. Por la seguridad de la gente porque tú, tú no respetan la ley y la constitución de México. Okay, este es el problema. ¿Dónde es? ¿Dónde? ¿En qué parte de la constitución? Por favor, respeta las derechas de la gente. Aquí estoy Solo para salvaguardar eso. a las personas. Si usted interfiere en esa labor no, y ni no, siquiera, no, no, ni siquiera no, me da un argumento legal. Simplemente no, señor. Ok, retírese, caballero. Ok, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Si quieres. Retírese, caballero, por favor. Sí, pásale. Es tu derecha, es tu derecha. Adelante. Camílenle, muchachos, por favor. ¿Mande? ¿Su nombre? Soy el oficial Luis Rojo Almaraz, policía municipal del municipio de Tequisquiapan. ¿Y tu nombre? Ya se lo acabo de decir, caballero. No, tu nombre. ¿El qué? Tu nombre. Soy el oficial oh. Luis Rojo Almaraz. Luis Rojo, ok. Entiendo. Ah. <risa> ¿Algo más? Pregúntale a él. ¿Qué, qué okay. es el nombre de él? Permítame una identificación, caballero. Le voy a pedir de favor que se identifique conmigo. Yo ya me identifiqué. Solicito. Permítame su identificación. ¿Eso es normal? Sí, no, es que siempre llegan aquí y se llevan a los chavos sin razones. Sí. Sin razones, no me la meto. Porque estás vagando en la calle y ya te subo. Y vas a mirar mi video. No me gusta. <risa> Similar problema en la policía de Estados Unidos. Sin accountability. 
<laughs> this just shows us that police corruption is not a small problem. It's a deep and global issue that affects millions of lives. Coming back to the cops, they went away for a while, but it was far from over because now they wanted the auditor's ID. <laughs> So here's the deal. They're searching these kids' bags. They see this a lot with the young people. Where they search the bags without legal authorization. And then if people try to hold them accountable, they start acting like they're interfering. Same kind of BS that we get in the USA. But uh, the Constitution is really clear on this. There were some kids standing around there, and they understood it. And uh, the kids standing around understood it. They were kind of nodding like, yeah, they do this to us all the time. Because this is a school here. So people hang out here, and the cops don't come down here. They search people's bags illegally. And the key is just to start holding them accountable. They're a lot less aggressive here. If you just tell them no, you just, just kind of got to stand up to them. And uh, you just got to stand your ground. But ultimately, uh, more people need to be filming, just holding them accountable, just having conversations about this. And that'll make all the difference. Senor, no molest me, por favor. Pass a leg. Yo no molesto tu, solo preguntas para ti. Eso es ridiculoso. Ok, este motivo por el cual no porta el, este, placa delantera. El problema es la policía en Texas roba la placa, señor. Le robaron la placa. Tu, tu policías robaron las placas. Mis policías robaron su placa. Sí, totalmente. Mot uh, ¿Dónde fue esto? Aquí, en Querétaro. ¿Ya levantaron Siempre. una denuncia? ¿Mare? ¿Ya levantaron una denuncia? Señor, ¿quieres molestarme? Necesito hablar inglés. No, no hablo inglés. No es mi problema. Okay. Tú molestas a mí. Yo necesito saber por qué no porto una placa. Según el reglamento de tránsito, marca okay. que no puedo Gracias, señor. con una placa. Gracias. The corrupt cop cannot let it go. He keeps coming back and harassing the poor guy. But eventually, he realizes that he is barking up the wrong tree. See, he's trying to mess with They steal the plates in town, too. And if somebody's without a plate, they harass them after, you know, they stole the plate, right? So. <laughs> Buenas noches. There's more of a politeness, right? So if they're gonna be nice, I'll be nice. I just don't like them, what I don't like seeing here. And the reason, I was just walking out doing street photography tonight, but the main reason is it's, it's frustrating. I keep seeing them search the kids' bags and stuff. And uh, the young people around here especially, because you see it more there with the young people, the teenagers, there's this idea that, oh, you're young, you have no rights, right? You just have to do as you're told. It's really important. It's muy importante por la, la chicos y las chicas y la gente de México entiendo La derecha, la policía no tienen un derecha a, a, por violaciones de la constitución, de los derechos de la gente. Y necesito, necesito grabar video, necesito hablar, necesito hacer más accountabilidad por las policías en, en el mundo todo. Whether it's Spanish or English, humbling corrupt officers is universally understood. While some corrupt pigs are fended off by words, others take harassment to the next level. Try to start trouble or make scenes. I'm just trying to make it back home. You about to be? You're in a good place. You're resisting arrest. Put your hand behind your back. You're under arrest for interfering. You're interfering arrest. Put your hand behind your back. Quick. Here, I'll get you another one. Why you gotta fight like that, man? What is wrong? Shut the fuck up. You might have to do three minutes. Three? Yeah. Absolutely unbelievable that these animals would do something to a mentally disabled man. According to the lawsuit that Kenneth filed, one deputy delivered at least two knee strikes to the plaintiff's left upper shoulder, while another deputy said, With a closed fist, I delivered one strike to the subject's meaty portion of the left thigh. We need your help, buddy. <laughs> How'd you do that? Uh, 
Yeah, you tense up on us, okay? That's what, what that's what people do <coughs> when they either want to fight or run. I am not to fight side. or run. Making someone go through such pain and misery simply because they tensed up, that's the epitome of corruption. These officers belong in cages, not on the streets. Just take a look at how they laughed at the poor guy after the incident was over. He was like in All right, well, special ed classes growing up in London. Me. <laughs> oh, did you get hit? <laughs> All I see is they're like, come up here. It's like, well, get out of the goddamn way. You pulled a mason. <laughs> see, you guys got to learn like I did on that traffic stop with Pierre when we were trying to get the guy out of the car and I knew Pierre was there. I just took one step. See? To the, the suit states the plaintiff spent 16 days in the hospital, including four days in the ICU. Additionally, the suit alleges negligence and gross negligence, common law liability for false imprisonment, malicious prosecution, defamation, abuse of process, and intentional and reckless infliction of emotional distress. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office declined to comment on the lawsuit. It's wild to see deputies harass a mentally unstable individual like that. What's even crazier is when the officers blatantly try to get bribes out of suspects, as they did in this next case. This, okay? This event took place in Mexico when the local police stopped an American man for having an expired registration, but the reality was a lot different because the man's registration was actually good for another eight months. Hola, señor. No, I have uh, insurance. Insurance, this registration. No infraction. Por no verificar el su periodo de verificación correspondiente al calendario de estado lugar de circulación, estados contemplados en el acuerdo de la verificación obligatoria, aguas calientes, 6200 pesos. 62 6200 pesos. 62 620. Sí. 62 dollar sí. uh, infraction. Sí, 6200 de infracción. Uh, no trae la for for this? For sí. this? Uh -huh. No habla. 6200 de multa, dinero en cash, cash, dinero, dinero, 6200. Yeah, dinero. Ajá, 6200. Pesos, 620 6200 pesos, pesos. Exactamente. to continue. Ajá. In, infraction? La infracción es de 6200. Esta es la infracción, por no verificar. And what is the matter with the, with this? Problema? Sí, tiene problema por no verificar. Es una multa de 6200. Entonces, necesito su licencia. I don't know if I have 600. At this point, the man thinks he has to pay $62 for an infraction and asks for a receipt as well. But what he fails to realize is that the officer is asking for a bribe, and in exchange, he will let him go. Man, you're killing me, man. You have a receipt? No, it's only 6200 640 I feel like I'm getting shook, shook down. No, uh, as, uh, I, you get a receipt? A receipt? 6,200. 600. No, 6,200. No, no, no. 6,200 de multa. What? O sea, es una infracción de 6,200. What, right? Right? 6. 6,000. Here are 600. Here are 6,200. Times 100. 6,000. No, I don't have that. This is it. What? I don't have. You you say. Um, okay. Uno, uno momento, please. So you say six thousand four hundred. That'd be six hundred and forty dollars. Six thousand on. budget budget uh, rental 
The man soon realizes that if he doesn't pay the cop, he will have to pay 6,400 pesos, which is equivalent to about 500 US dollars. Sí. It's a budget. Uh, and what, this? Mm -hmm. This? Okay. What? Uno momento. Código ocho. Código ocho. Go. Sí. Dude, I just got totally raped by the police, dude. Hola, Mexico. Viva la Mexico. It's wild to think that officers like these are out in the open doing this to hundreds if not thousands of people daily. And this cop was unfortunate enough to get caught red-handed, but there are thousands of others whom we will never see or hear about. It is unbelievable that an officer would do such a thing. But in this next case, the officer does something even more strange when he pulls over a guy for having a loud exhaust. If I see you in the city again, I'm going to arrest you and I'm going to tell your card, do you understand? On September 21st, 2021, a YouTuber named Lil David Garcia posted a video on his YouTube channel showing an incident that happened to him while he was visiting California. The officer made a huge mistake, but was too arrogant to admit it. So, license, registration, insurance, please. Yeah. Hey, David, the reason why I pulled you over is for your uh, loud exhaust. Okay. Any reason why it's uh, so loud? Yeah. I'm sorry? Yes. Why is that? Because it's modified. It's modified? Yeah. What did you do to modify it? Just an exhaust. Just an exhaust? Just a cab back exhaust. Okay. Yeah. Do me a favor, turn your vehicle off. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go again. The SpongeBob the, the SpongeBob boots. Is it him? It's the same. Yeah, it's the same one. He's gonna take out his little sound meter. He's gonna do a little sound test. I mean, why is he even doing it? You have to it wasn't the officer's first time pulling over this guy. He had already done it before. But the difference this time was that he was no longer a resident of California. He had actually moved to Arizona. This meant the officer couldn't say anything about the loud exhaust, as Arizona allows its residents to have these kinds of exhaust systems. Okay. Emergency brake on. Go ahead and start it. I'm gonna have you bring it up to three and a half. Uh -huh. 1,000 RPMs, I'm going to have you hold it, and then I'm going to have you let off of it, okay? Okay. Go ahead and bring it up to three and a half. Come on. Right, go ahead and shut it off. So you're at 106.2 decibels. Okay. Okay, legal limit is 95. 95? Yeah. So your uh, your cat back mod yeah. is, is, is boosted that up, okay? After this incident, the YouTuber moved out of California, so he didn't have to face this again. But, as luck would have it, he was in the same situation with the exact same cop. Oh, he's taking pictures. Taking pictures of my tires. I'm gonna remember this car. He's getting the angles. <laughs> he got them angles. He's like, what else do I see? He's like, yup, that's the one. Wait, I need oh, a little that's closer that's up. Close. <laughs> All right, David, uh, you're being cited for uh, loud exhaust and uh, modification of uh, the emissions, uh, which are in violation of uh, California emission standards. Uh -huh. uh, you're being state refereed. Uh, you got two options. Okay, you can either drive the vehicle straight home where you live or to a repair shop. If you are uh, found driving the vehicle again, uh, you will be arrested and the vehicle will be towed. Well, I'm from Arizona. My friend's an officer. He told me that you're allowed to be in California for 10 days. That's untrue. Yes. Hey, 
You're being cited. Uh -huh. Not a mission to give. Just promised to appear in court. Just need a signature here. Where do you live in California? California or Arizona? California. I don't live in California. I live in Arizona. Oh, you live in California. No, I don't. Yeah. I moved. This is the second time I've called you over. Yeah, I know. I moved after that because of you. Okay. Because I didn't well, want yeah, to deal you, with this. You can't continue to drive the same vehicle in the same city after you've been refereed once. Okay, so I'm not towing your vehicle today. I'm cutting you a break. But if I see you in the city again, I'm going to arrest you and I'm going to tow your car. Do you understand? I'm allowed to you're visit. Allowed. I'm allowed to visit California. No, you're not. Anyhow, if you're gonna if you're gonna drive this vehicle, it's a violation of emissions. You need to tow the vehicle. It cannot be on the roadway. Do you understand? Okay. Hang tight. All right, you've done this before, so make sure you go to the state re referee, get the vehicle back into compliance before you go to court. Court names on the bottom. Well, I'm from Arizona, questions? so. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. No questions. The worst part about these officers is their arrogance. They make mistakes, but then double down on them even after realizing they might be wrong. This is what corruption does. It makes you blind to your own toxic behavior. I have something on this ticket that I just saw right now. Look at this. All right, so muffler required to be properly maintained, air pollution control device, stay referee sign off only. And then look at this one at the bottom. Fenders and mudguards required. I am lost right now. I got my fenders. <laughs> I don't have a hood, but I have fenders. And mud guards, these don't even come with mud guards to begin with. It's not a rally car, it's not a truck, it's not a semi. The only type of mud guards they make for these cars is like one little plastic piece that just goes right here, and then another one that goes right here, but like, buy anything down to just make me pay more fines or something. It's pretty messed up, but. But yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. The courtroom is gonna think this is pretty dumb. They're probably still gonna give me like a correction fee for it, which is gonna be $25. They're gonna be like, all right, did you get it corrected? And I'll be like, what do you mean corrected? Like I've always had fenders and mudguards. So they're gonna be like, okay, just pay $25. Just so they can make me pay $25 still. Watch, I know it. The dealership gets some fluids and stuff, so. That was like a two hour drive on the way there. Probably about like four motorcycle cops behind me and uh, they just drove by me, they didn't care. I'm like Gilly over here, oh Gilberto, they didn't want to let me go. He just doesn't want to feel like he lost. If he doesn't give me a, some sort of citation, you know, because he gave me one in the past and he just wants to prove a point. He's just out here trying to harass me, telling me that he's gonna arrest me next time. He's gonna impound my car. Uh, we still had a lot of fun today. I had a lot of fun. I'm not gonna let this thing ruin my day, you know. These corrupt cops are ridiculous with their power games. The YouTuber was absolutely right. The cop did all of this to protect his giant ego. Fortunately, the YouTuber captured and released his games for everyone to see. If you think this is just an isolated event and the cop probably hates loud cars, then watch this next case, where an officer arrested a man for no apparent reason. No, nope. get out of here, man. Don't fucking touch me. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't commit no crime. In a shocking video released by the Alberta Rights Media YouTube channel, an officer can be seen harassing a man for sitting in a car peacefully. The interaction starts pretty smoothly, but then the officer decides to get aggressive and all hell breaks loose. Hi there. How are you today? We got a call about you. Me? For yeah, what? Because you're videotaping people leaving the parking lot, so they think it's suspicious. Oh my yeah. gosh. Do you have your license registration insurance for this vehicle, sir? Sorry, have I committed a crime? Yep. I've committed a crime? Yep. And what crime would that be? You're being suspicious, so we're investigating. Is that a that. felony or a misdemeanor? It's neither of those two things. What's your this name isn't and badge the US. number? 62260 Constable Smith. Okay, sweetheart. And what would you like today, cupcake? Your license registration insurance for the vehicle. No, not gonna happen. It is gonna happen. Okay, you it tell is. yourself that. You can leave me alone, man. I'm here absolutely doing nothing wrong. Mm, you've been called in as a suspicious person. So, so I have to... Have I committed any crime? I don't know. The officer is acting weird and has no idea what he is talking about. The man being accused initially plays along and is surprisingly polite. But what happens next changes everything. Okay, okay. license, registration, insurance, please. Absolutely not. The problem is now you've been called in, so we have to do an investigation. Yeah, you do right? your investigation, sir. I'm not I'm not stopping you from that. You 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 can do that. What's your name and badge number? Constable Newfeld. Regimental number six. Alright, so as your officer just explained, he said because I'm filming, 
That's which is my constitutional it. Canadian Charter of Rights constitutional. I'm um, engaged in a constitutional activity. He cannot deem this a crime. If he wants to take it there and escalate it, we absolutely can. But this little cupcake right here ain't gonna do shit. No, no. Let's see. I rolled down my window to talk to you to let you know that I mean no ill will or no harm. That. That's it. That. But that, but you know what? If he's gonna escalate it, then I'm not gonna be nice to you. But he hasn't. Like I, he I has. Just he just to, told like, me that sorry. I've committed a crime. No, I don't. This this little p here I just told me I committed that. a crime. I didn't hear that one. But here, can I try to explain it to you? You just touched my. Sh do it again. Do it again and see what happens. Get your hand out of my car. Get out of my car. Get out of my car. It's on video. It's on video. You put your hand in my car. I can't step out. Okay, well, you're under arrest for obstruction. No, get out of here, man. Don't touch me. Get the f out of here. I didn't commit no crime. You're under arrest. I don't give a f You can't obstruct yeah, me. Okay. I didn't do nothing. Get the f out of here. You got out of my. You put your hand in my car without a fing warrant, you f idiot. You're under mm. arrest. The officers paid dearly, experiencing first-hand embarrassment at the hands of the YouTuber they underestimated. That's all for today. Like and subscribe if you like true crime content. Be sure to check out another video by clicking here. Detective Mystery, signing off.